Welcome to another episode of Disrespected Evo, where music. there's no music and there's no editing. Smartass. There's, of course, there's editing. There, there, there's the thing. But there's you know, like the quick chop like this. Ah! Yes. Like, yeah. Yes. That oh. is edit technical editing because someone, which is me, had to afterwards chop that and then go, hey, can I have some music? Hey, can I have some music? Yeah, I got something for you. And then you yes. did the thing with the thing. Is this the return or of the dis me. Is this the return of the disrespect? It's the return of the disrespected nostril, isn't it? Yeah. Because this was this is what started as disrespected nose. These are the minimal edited, non-musicked, come along with us for the ride. Before we kick off, I do want to show you because we've got some exciting news. We've got this mad new uh, Mighty Carmod shirt here, uh, made by artist Jestami. This is manga style Mighty Carmods. It's freaking awesome. Uh, we ship these all around the world and uh, proceeds go to help support the show, which is epic. They're available right now by clicking the doodle. We'll send it to your door. And we've got something free for everybody, don't we, Martin? Yeah. We've got this mad sticker. Same design. Which Ask is awesome. Super Turbo, what's not to love? It's the we Mighty should... Car Mods as Manga Super Turbo. And we're going to give them away for free. Uh, details will be on the thing. Uh, make an order, we'll give you one of those. We'll get to it. Put it on my, put it on my mad, my mad, no, not there. It's, it's, a good gone, idea. it's gone on the tool cupboard. Oh, I lost it in there. Martin, um, what are we doing today? Off. We're finishing so, what wasn't got finished before. That's because right. So our last episode. Cat never arrived. Well, that's it. Last episode, we took you with us um, on this journey of silliness. Um, and there's still a bunch of things left to do. And last time we ran out of time and hard drive space and uh, some parts we're waiting for never actually showed up. So I ordered a cat converter and then that went through a person who went through another supplier who went through another supplier and that supplier right at the end was like, no. And it's not here. It's, it's, but it's lots of here. other stuff arrived, Martin. There's so lots of stuff over some there. Some other stuff arrived, which is cool. So we'll take you with us for that. But what we are going to do today is we're going to make our own cat. Last time we mentioned that we might have to. So I've been up to Castle Hill exhaust and got myself a cat converter, a stainless one and a couple of flanges. And um, so we're going to make a little heat shield to go on here yes. to protect our cam sensor. And a heat shield. Now, a few people noticed some, some things that happened, like when I put the turbo in, I scratched the thing. Well, there's a little cover that goes over all of that now to protect um, from heat from this exhaust manifold. And if you feel they're just little things that We'll just make it that, that bit nicer. So today, come with us for this completely disrespectful nostril. Disrespected of an nose, Martin. And you know the best thing about finishing the Evo? We don't have to do any more work on it? No. I mean, we will when it blows up again. Of course. But as soon as we finish this, we can start working on. Uh, are we getting a different car? We'll go work and do some stuff on Too Sexy because we'll be so used to it. The Golf. Motorbikes? Motorbikes. Martin, come on, man. Motor doing. Come on, dude. Dude. As soon as we finish this, we're working on... <laughs> Me. What? You didn't All right, no, let's just... Come I on. didn't get the script, no, dude. Yeah, okay, cool, man. Sorry. I didn't get the script. Check your email for the script that I didn't send. Oh. All right, Martin, what's first? Can we put this heat, heat thing on first? Let's put the heat good. thing. And, and then that covers where you wrecked yeah, you your thing. I had a mad fail. The internet told you about that. We, no, the first thing is we're going to put this sticker on the cupboard. What do you I've call it? purposely cupboard. been filling it from the top to sort of... Like memories of stuff that we've done. We went to Seema and the Hoover Dam and the Mini Car Club. Remember we went to, took your Mini to the thing? Yes. And then Import Monster when they got us the Mira and Japan, obviously. And that's Drift Pig, Initial Pig. And when we did Roadkill, which is cool. Jojo Moto when we were riding motorbikes and Al Crash, that sucked. And just, yeah, Ford Focus stuff, HQ stuff, Barrel Brothers stuff. There's all sorts of mad stuff. Rodney's there. Awesome. I think this needs to go right there. Look at that, Martin. Awesome. What happens when we run out of cupboard? I don't know. Buy another cupboard, Martin. Yeah, that'd be cool. Wow, life. Look at that. Um, all right, Martin, let's get to it. Let's One it. day we've got to give people a look around here, man, because there's so many things that are here that need to be looked at. Everyone's sheds there? are just organised chaos, aren't they? Pretty much. They are just so chaotic, but everything is where it needs to be. This car does look good, Martin. It I'm glad you think good. so. I'm glad you think so. I think it looks pretty cool. Not as good as a Golf R, though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> all right, let's put this little heat shield thing on. This is cool. I don't know how it works, but we're going to work it out. This is all the stuff, Martin. This is all the stuff. Should we, should we, should we talk about the stuff? Do you want to talk about the talk stuff? About the stuff. Yeah, a little Martin, bit. Martin, something that I noticed, wh where did it go? Is that, oh, it's underneath here. Is this new? It's new. Did you get one? Yeah, I got sick of being like blinded all the time when I accidentally hit the button. And it's new, man. Look how new and nice it is. Look. Oh, you can't tap it anymore. Yeah, because before you used to accidentally tap when the buttons get old and loose, you could accidentally turn them on and off, whereas now it's like... You can't. When did you get that? Because I have not seen that before. I just busted it out of a box, man. 
sat it here. It's good to go. Do you want a little tour? It's amazing. Yeah, this will be good. Tour, you know man. why this will be good? Because this will show all the stuff that we probably won't get a chance to do because we'll either fail or run out of time. No, we but will. But you're coming we'll, with we'll us, so there. if we no, fail, no, we're going to get bad. there, man. So I got some hose, right? So probably importantly is this oh, bad boy. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. So one of the reasons I'm excited to put a Haltech in it is I can run the car on flex, which means I can use 98 as well as ethanol. At the moment, it's only got ethanol. If I run out of fuel, see you later. There's like four servos in the area that I can go to. Um, which Martin, is I'm glad that you'll do that. Why do you hate 98 so much? Why would you go backwards in power if you just can put different fuel in it? All right. Let's move anyway, on. so flex sensors. There's a few things to make that work. There's like little adapters and you know things that we have to put on here, and we have to tap it into our your return line of our fuel system. Um, we also want to put some of those interior bits in that we didn't get a chance to last time, but they're going oh, in today. Oh, that's the heat shield. Look at that. And that is the heat shield. So this is made by um, a dude up in Brisbane, ATP. And it's like a cool looking, nice, classy heat shield thing that. Oh, and that's what goes over the. Um, it's got like a sensor bracket. Uh, sensor. I don't know. I think it goes that way, but that we'll looks work like it. it makes sense. Oh, maybe that way, actually. We'll work it out. And. Uh, oh, yeah. Mighty Carmod's gloves. Really cool. Excellent. I hadn't them. Are they blue now or black? Didn't we do blue for a bit? I, just, I don't know either. I don't know. Whatever's on, the shop, on, the, thing whatever's on the shop is what's there. But I've got both. I've got some blue ones up there, too. Um, these are cool because we're going to get dirty doing our cat converter, which is. Involves some three inch stainless pipe and this um, cat converter I picked up today from Legends at Castle Hill Exhaust. It's like a nice stainless 100 cell cat. It's got a bung for your sensors and a couple of flanges. Not these ones, I've got some stainless ones over there, which because the ones. exhaust is going to be there a long time. So these are some nice, like CNC made stainless. And we've got to put some pipe in there. So we'll have to get under there and measure it. Yep. We'll do our heat shield first, then we'll get onto this because this is a bit messy and annoying. And then yep. we'll finish off with a nice, fun, clean work. Excellent, Martin. Let's do it. All right, let's just, let's just, Martin, let's just get right into it. Does that bracket stay or is that going? It goes and when you need to pull your engine out, not if, when you need to pull your engine out, you just uh, reinstall the bracket. Yeah, nice. I believe is the, is the go. So that can go in the glove box along with all the sensors, cam sensors that I'm not going to need to replace. And my understanding is that this bad boy goes boom right there. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to use the factory bolt because I think it's neat. Yeah. Like it. And then we basically, the sensor shield attaches over here. So I'm guessing it goes like. Yeah. I'm sure it goes like that. I should really just get a picture of it. Hey, oh. Uh, oh, no. It's not actually covering too. it at the moment. No, it'll be like that. Oh, yeah, onto that bolt. Yes, there That's you go. That's neat, dude. How good is that? That's excellent. I like that. That was a problem that now is no longer a problem. So undo these. Very cool, Martin. Make it, make it do. How many motorbikes do you have at the moment? Do you know, approximately? Um, I think four. Do you? Yeah, all nuggets. Except my dirt bike. I really like my dirt bike, man. Yeah. Such a good thing. It's a, um, it's a Husserberg with a, with a 70 degree engine. So that, imagine the engine in a normal dirt bike just goes straight up and down. I know they all don't, but say it just goes vertically. Yeah. The engines are sort of tilted 70 degrees. Yeah. And so that means it's more like it's punching forward and back, which gives better stability, but what it act, well, that's the rumor is that it gives better stability, but it's an old, um, it's an older style bike from maybe like 10 years ago or eight, eight or nine years ago. Do you reckon it's as fast as my WR? Uh, I reckon it's faster because it's a 390 and the WR is a 250. So I reckon it's got more just overall horsepower. Um, but that doesn't mean it's more capable as a dirt bike, which we've learned about dirt bikes, isn't it? We have. You can have a smaller motor and actually just be faster than everyone. We should take people on a dirt squirt button, and we should also just show the people our motorbikes one day. That's a good idea. I know, mighty car mods, and what will happen is some people will get angry. No. no in the past, we've done <laughs> motorbikes, and they, it says car, you can't do motorbikes. <laughs> Imagine that. that it's, I mean, that's, that's tricky. It's is it? Kind of, well, I that's don't know. It's not tricky is at it? all. It's like, okay. We can't do it. But then just, you do it anyway. And you have a great time. So rebellious, Mark. Completing the task. Doing a motorbike on a show that doesn't have the word motorbike <laughs> in the title. That's going on. There you go. That's, That's going on. on. That's going on. I want to hear from the people that have got motorbikes, Martin. What do you want, want to hear from I want to hear what they've got, what they've done to it. Uh, some people modify motorbikes, Martin, but not many people. You notice? Yeah. They change an exhaust, maybe change a seat, and that's about it. And maybe that's because that's all you need to do most of the time. I, I would, I think that's definitely part of it, is that you probably actually don't need to do that much to them. And motorbikes power, power to weight generally are already pretty, pretty crazy, aren't they? I mean, you've yeah. only got to ride, what, a 250cc dirt bike. That'll be Cheryl. Cheryl again. She's at you today, man. So keen. Hey, Cheryl, I'll call you back. 
And so now, with that on, the easy bit, fun bit done, it's time to make some mess and uh, get our cat converter happening. So I might need you to help me Let's measure. Let's get down on it, Martin. Let's measure him up. I'm going to grab a uh, measuring tape. Very good. I'm going to get down under the car. Very good. I'm going to measure up the bits. Trojan. Isn't that something else in America? A Trojan? Trojan horse? You no, know I the story of the Trojan horse? I do, but I don't think that's what it is in America. I think it's like something oh, you, you buy when you... Oh, you the Trojan penis. If you measure from the flange right at the back there... Yeah. ...to where this ends up, and yep. we should be seeing like... 460 something millimetres of gap that we need to fill. But unfortunately, because I don't have a hanger on this bit of pipe, well, I don't actually know. That is set at 460, so if your pipe is touching the end of this. Looks pretty close, doesn't it? Uh, it's about 10 mil out, I reckon. Yeah. Is, is yours where it needs to be, though? Oh, I don't know. Like, we might, maybe, you know how we grabbed that stand last time and put on a stand? Yeah. But you know what? It's easier to cut pipe than extend a pipe, Martin. Yeah. So I suggest what we do for starters is, by my measurement, hold that there for a sec, hold it still. Yep. That's where we need to be, and that's actually 480. 480. 480. Zero. Zero. It's supposed to be 470, but I wonder if that's because this isn't mounted. Well, you know what we can do? Why don't we stick the front of this pipe on a jack stand like we did? Yeah. Your trick from last time, and then we'll attach this V band at the back. Yeah. And that way it should just be in place, and then we can sort of mess with the, the distance and Can test I just it bring, while we're under here, if this fits, I'll just. Yeah. Is that going to fit? Yeah, man. It's gonna, yeah, it's at least hold it up and out of the way. We'll need to, we'll need a jack stand to get the the height just right. But now we can probably V band this back bit. Yeah. And then, yeah, we should be, should be good. I'll grab a jack stand. Thank you, my friend. There you go, V band. Thank you, mate. That is fancy. It's good, eh? Just neat. And if we sort of, if we, I reckon, if we loosely V band that one in and then support it with the jack stands, we'll be able to get a really good idea of where it's all supposed to sit. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's sometimes a bit of a, di a dicky to get on. I don't know exactly what angle it goes either, but if we leave it loose and it's yeah, rotatable, it should leave be... Leave it loose till it's all on there. Alrighty. Mad. Cool. Well, that's attached. Perfect. So, what do you reckon? One more, one more jack stand, one here, and then one closer to where the cat's got to go. Yeah, I mean that's going to be more accurate. But yeah, we just need to go higher. Hey, right, okay. can it go up? We push that one up, and then go. Yeah, man. That's getting close. Very close. All right, one more at the front, and then we'll measure it again. I'll yeah, cool, man. Grab another stand. I'll just put this one here for now. Yep. And then I'll jump up the front and move it to where it's got to go. What's on your hat, dude? Uh, I was painting a roof. A lot of people talk about our clothes on the internet for some reason. Do they? It's kind of weird that that's even a thing. Do you know that some people put heaps and heaps of time and effort into working out what they're going to wear that day? Do they? Like, there's people on Instagram, and that's, that's what they do. Like, they do clothes and stuff. Well, like, that's, that's a... That's I, cool. I don't really... I mean, it's cool. I don't really get it, but it's... But it's a thing, man. What I don't get is why we made these awesome garage creepers yeah. and even own one and then just crawl around on the floor still. Doesn't make any sense to me. I wish I had an answer for you, but I just don't. Coming in at exactly the same as we did before. What 480. is it? 480. 480. And is there any play if you push that back pipe forward or back? Or does it feel really stiff where it is? That's where it wants to sit, yeah? That's where it's sitting. This here obviously isn't moving because that's connected. So. All right. Well, I, I mean, can pull it forward maybe five mil. Yeah, don't really need to though, do we? Like it looks pretty good on the hangers. I'm just gonna on the hangers back here. I'm just gonna see. Give it a bit of a yank again. I want to see if I can just see what's going on on the hangers up here. 
Like that looks like it's in a good spot, man. It is in a good spot. And it's, um, I don't I think we're going to have to cut out the back bar from what I can see here too. Martin, I just think your intel was incorrect. Yeah, it might be. But, you know what? 475 is going to be on the money. 475. 475 is going to be on the so money based on these measurements. Right, okay. So the size of what our Because now that we've given it a shake around, there has been like five mil of play. Yep. On both there and there. And we are 475, man. 475. Yep. Let's Done. make a cat. Can the cat sit anywhere in that cavity? Oh, yeah, we need to check that it's going to. Because we need to Where find out sit. which, because basically we need that to be there. And just work out how much and metal you assign. the complete assigned. length is going to be 475, like that. Bonk, TIG weld. Bonk, TIG weld. Approximately 120 mil on each side, Martin, will give us the required length. Will that cat hit anything under there, do you reckon? Uh, well, it's pretty clear. I have we no should idea. have a look, eh? Just grab this and see if it's... um. Because also we want the... Um, bung to be on this side of the en engine side rather than the back of the car. Yep. Is there anything under there we can run into? Or is there a fair bit of space? There's heaps of room, man. Oh, there's heaps. Awesome. That's good. Just uh, lay it in, Martin, and see if we've actually got what we needed to be. There's a total length that is including these of 475. But we do have a little bit of adjustability there, which is good. And that is... Heaps of room to move because the flanges we can move as well. Yeah, dude, that looks good. Yeah, cool. What are you at? 475. Cool. That looks pretty good. Looks good. Clean it up with a grinder if we need to. Yep. I really want to get one of those drop saws like uh, Turbo Yoda's got. You know the like bandsaw thing? Yeah, the ones that automatically drop. Yeah, just quiet. Heaps less mess, less noise, nice cuts. It's definitely on the shopping list one day. Yeah, we are, Martin. In the ballpark? We are, I think, we are on the money. Cool. That's 480, so with movement to go in. So we're good. So, what? there's a few different ways we can do this. And you're coming with us, because full disrespect to noses, we could weld the flanges to the pipe and then we can turn that whole thing in there and then mark them yeah and then mark them because you could even just that's zap that be easier you could just zap that with a mig like once like you could bolt that side to one and that side to the other you know what i mean and then yes. and then position this zap zap boom do you reckon i don't know that is the way to go i'm not an exhaust how would guy. a professional do it do you reckon they'd be under the car standing under their hoist and they would put it on a bunch of stands and position it all by eye and then zap oh, it with the cancel that. So how are we going to do it, man? Uh, so, <laughs> we, well, we should then just, like, that should just be committed yeah. to go bang, we bang, yeah. bang, you're on. We That's commit. it. You're done forever. Boom. And just go, bzz, bzz, same yep. thing on the other side. Yep. And then make sure it works. I reckon. This is one of those situations where you know it's going to be fun and easy to weld. Because we'll TIG weld it. It's stainless. It'll look good. You could, you could just shoot it together with a MIG if you wanted to. But if you weld it with a TIG, we'll use stainless filler wire as well. That should look really nice. And one of the tricks with welding anything like this is if the fit is good to begin with, that is going to make the weld look really nice and should just join together with minimal fuss and minimal heat too because it's quite thin. I mean, the flange is thick, but the pipe is thin. So I reckon we just get that on there and give that a bit of an old blast with the, with the TIG welder. It'll be fun. One of two done. Um, it's a somewhat average example of a TIG weld. 
Uh, I overheated it in some bits, as you can see there. Um, but it will seal and it will do the job. And for an exhaust, that's really what matters. This is post-turbo too, so it's not under a crazy amount of pressure. You just want to make sure it's sealed, no holes. And importantly, it won't rust because it's stainless with the right kind of stainless filler wire in it. So one done, I wad up the other one, and then we'll both jump under the car and get that fitted up. All right, it's looking a bit better. At this rate, the tenth one I do will look perfect. Version one, we wish, we'll just won't look at that. That's like called tuning. Let, let's tuning get your the welder. close up of this one. <laughs> That's called tuning in your welder you haven't used for a few weeks. And that version two is what it probably should look like. Stacking dimes. No, not even close. But um, but there, no, there's one dime over there. There's, there's a dime stacked yeah. on top of a bit of Stack weld puddle. Stacking dime. Um, but that's going to do the job, man, and that will seal up to the rest of the exhaust. So now I reckon we'll jump under there. Why don't we take that under there, take that under there. I'll bring a Tickster. Uh, what do they call them, a Sharpie? A Sharpie. Um, and we'll actually see if we measured it up right or if we just got it wrong. The posty tyre needs a bit of love, man. I got a new tube for it, but then, same as the cat, it never got delivered. Really? I ordered a new tube from the internet, which promised to fix my posty issue, and then it just never showed up. I'm so sure I told I don't everybody freaking... about how I ordered like a Posty thing. CNC 3D engraver thing off the net. Oh, yes. And they just sent a pen with an AA battery in it <laughs> and the end goes, <laughs> Total ripoff. You know the Perfect. female version of that, Marty? The what you version? Know, the female version of that is that they wear these face masks that kind of look like ninja masks. Have yeah. you ever seen it? It's like a thing that goes, it's like a hockey mask, but it's made of paper and it's got moisturizer on it or something. What does it do? I don't know, moisturize your face or something. But anyway. Um, I saw online the other day someone bought like one of those and when it arrived it was like as big as a 20 cent piece. It oh, was just no. sitting on their forehead. Because you can't see, it's meant to be the size of your head, but it's actually just tiny. That's a, they're the whole industry of people just scamming Just ripping people. people off on the internet. Just, just don't be scammers. It sucks. I reckon if we bolt this one in here... Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? Please fit. Please be the right size. There we go. Oh man, it might be a thing. And then if we bolt the other one in, and the test will be where our measurement's right. And if they weren't, then we're going to be welding an extra bit of pipe to our existing pipe because that flange is now permanently attached. I like how you said we, but if it doesn't fit, it will be my fault. Why? And that's fine, I'll own it because I measured it and cut it. Yeah, but and I was... told you what the numbers are. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Hey man. Martin, shouldn't you be putting the cap on that pipe before you put the other bit of pipe on there? I'm going to just put one on, like that. And I'm going to slippery, dippery dot That's what that. I'm talking about. Zooper duper him on there. Like that. Yes. But I don't... I, you, might, you might be right. I might have needed to actually... Dude. That is freaking awesome. Look at it. Look Mum, at that's it. excellent. Man, have we actually... We did a And thing. there is room for the bung upward. If you cut out some of the heat shield, yeah. So, dude, that's going to work. Mark it with your tickster, Martin. I'm next gonna... to it. I think, do you think I should bolt it in? Do you reckon it's a bit... Because if, if we get it wrong and it grows or shrinks or something when we weld it, oh, what we should actually probably be doing is tacking it under here with everything bolted in. That's, 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 that's what smart. a professional yeah, would do. let's do that. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get a TIG welder under here, so it might just have to have a bit of MIG bird poo on it, but that's okay. I think that's going to be the way to go. Because yep. I've had this before where you make it and you go, oh, it's perfect, and then you weld it and everything moves. Yeah. And next minute it doesn't fit. Do you reckon once you finish all this stuff, Marty, it's like actually going to be properly fast now? Well, like properly? I don't know, man. Like the dyno, the dyno seems to think that it is already fast. But yeah, I, I don't, I honestly, I honestly couldn't answer that question, but. 
what I'm hoping is, with some nice reliable power and possibly a few gains here and there with how well everything's breathing, I should see, no, that it's actually going to go when I put my foot down and not cough and splutter and carry on and whatever. So I'd say your, your stock golf is probably in trouble if we did do another race. I think it would be a little bit easier than it was last time to walk away. Walk away? Yeah. What? Walk away from your golf. I thought you were saying if instead of having a race, if I wanted to walk away. What? What do you mean? Like, I thought you were saying that your car's going to be so fast now that if I want to have a race, I'd be better to walk away, as in don't even race. No, just, I... Just walk away from it. I just think the racing pedigree of this Evo would very much give the uh, stock golf a bit more of a scare than it's ever had before now that it's actually good. Well, everything works and... The fact is that your car beat my golf when it was broken. Uh, and now your golf... Now your golf... My golf? Now, now your Evo won't be broken. So therefore it just should be an absolute slaughter. Well, yeah. I think... I'm, I'm, I'm confident that there's something to this whole Evo caper. Oh, that was right up my coit. Sorry, mate. Oh, what was that? Oh, that, that was, was the... all your welding stuff. Far out. I'm getting you a helmet. Thanks, I'm getting man. you all the bits. Thanks, Have you got man. a rod already on the, on the, on the um, boil? There's a couple of really little skinny stainless rods up on the bench that will work. Oh, yeah. But I only need, I only need to tack it under here, so just maybe three or four of them will, will yeah, do. No worries. Here you go, mate. Here's a helmet. Thanks, man. Or you can just go eyes closed mode. No, not with that. <laughs> I'm not that talented. You've seen people do that? I know, yeah. I just close that. And there's the two rods. And you're good to go, man. Thank you, my friend. I'll come under and get a shot of you splatting it. See, it sort of dictates where the whole exhaust goes. It's hanging down lower than it needs to be. Yeah, I mean, that front... This, this, we can get a bit more height here, but I don't know how close to the floor we can afford to get. That's a weird angle now, though. That's just like going up the whole way instead of going straight. So what? It, does it need to go up at, for higher at the back? I need to use both my hands, Martin. I'm going to turn this off and we'll work it out. Yeah, nice. It looks good to me. Like, right now, it's not, it doesn't look like it's rubbing on anything. It looks like it's all in the right place. Your end looks really good. You know what I reckon, Martin? What's that? Make like an email and send it. Just send it, hey? Probably not the exact right way to be doing this, but it gets it attached. That's all that matters. It's a way. It's what? It's a way of doing it. It's a way of doing it. You can probably get under here and blast it with the MIG, but then you've got to paint it and, you know, try and keep it nice and stainless looking. How'd you go? It's ugly, but it's joined. So Excellent. now we pull the cat out and we can weld it on the bench and hopefully everything will just work. Nice. Well, we'll see. Well done. Let's have a look. Ta-da. There it is. So now we just got to weld the whole way around. Yeah, it's not the best tack in the world, but it gets in the right position anyway. So now we weld it up. Oh. She's done. Looks good. That is going to be super hot, but there it is, man. That's the part that we potentially could have bought off the shelf, but didn't. Well, we made it. did, and then it didn't. I wonder if that costs more in, like, argon. Probably. Not the point, though, is it? But it's an investment in your skills as a human <laughs> being, Martin, that you made it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, let that cool down for five minutes, and then we will... Uh, Bolt it on. Bolt it on. And, and then, then the exhaust is finished. The exhaust is finished, assuming that it actually all fits together. Oh, it's going to fit. We've got to tighten up that back, back yeah. thing and then... Then we hope. can start it and have a listen to it and see if it still sounds like a tractor. Well, it should be drivable now, actually. Is there anything else that we have to do before it can, like, hit the street? Oh, you can hit the street, but I just want to put um, my little interior bits in. Yeah. And I have to put a flex sensor in it, too. Yeah. And I've got a new air filter, but I don't know if it's the right size. It's the only one that I had. Cool. All right. <laughs> well, good, man. Here's the bit where I want to see just from the side here, Martin, if it actually fits in properly. No, because this could be the embarrassing moment of truth. The extremely embarrassing moment of truth where we just 
failed miserably. Except we didn't. Just needs an old gasket in there. Martin, that is spot on. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's excellent. Yeah. We might have had a bit of a win there. One, put a nut on the back. And there is our cat. <laughs> we, we picked one of the most difficult things to both do and film for disrespecting this Evo, didn't we? Well, yeah. It had to happen, though. Well, there we go, everybody. <laughs> yeah, right, man. There's so much the, still to do. The cat's in there. <laughs> and now we're moving on to our next project that we're very excited about. What's that? You keep pretending you don't know, Martin. Oh, I don't It's know. getting old. I don't know. Is it a, is it a secret one that you even you haven't told me? No. Maybe it's so secret I don't even know. It's not secret at all. Really? Let's just get to it, man. When are we telling the people? They already know. Look in the comments, man. Have a quick look. See that? Really? They all know, man. How is it possible that they know and I don't know? Oh, man. <laughs> there you go, Martin. That's in. It's in. There you so go. Tighten this up and then we, the true test is when we drop that jack stand and then tighten up our V-band at the back. Thanks a lot, everybody. Of course, you can follow us on the Facebooks. <laughs> Why do you keep trying oh. to quit? Oh, what? No, I thought we were finished. There's heaps more to do, man. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you don't need to pretend that you don't love spending all your time underneath an Evo with me. No, it's good. We spent a couple of days doing this. We'll spend a couple of days doing the next project. Oh, what's the next project going to be? Oh, Martin, stop it. What do you mean? It's getting annoying. Oh, what do you mean? I'm not, I'm not being annoying on purpose. You, you, you won't say its name. What, what, the name of what? Oh. I'm going to tighten up the V-band at the back, Martin. Nice. You I'll finish tightening up your bits, and then let's have a listen to the incredible tractor that is your Evo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that it might sound like a tractor. Dude, speaking of tractors, have you ever grown a lawn? Um, I've planted grass. Yeah. Yes, I have. From seed or like from a... From seed. Do you, yes. know, that, do you know that, got, like in Australia we call it turf, when you buy like rolls of pre-made grass, like pre-grown grass. Yeah. Except I think in other places in the world they call it sod. Do they? Isn't that a weird name for... I've never heard the word sod before. It's called sod. I, I thought sod was grass. Like if someone says, oh, you're sod, it means you're boring. Well, I think it means like sod off. I think that's like a, if you're in... England, that's but like... But what does sod off mean? Go means, away. Means put your grass away. Well, I guess so. But I mean, you can... Because you can grow it from seed, but not all varieties of grass you can grow from seed. Like but some, doesn't it take ages if you do that? Yeah, it takes a few cycles and you have to time it just right because it's just like growing any other crop. You know, like if you plant at the wrong time of year or in the wrong kind of soil and there's all these sort of gotchas. But you know what they do that's really cheeky. If you actually look... Oh, sorry. You are right? Yeah, yeah. If it's you look at the ingredients of a grass seed mix, yeah. it's not actually one seed. It's heaps of different seeds. And some of them are designed ah. to green up and then die soon after so you think your grass is growing. Did you know that? Yeah. and That's I... an actual thing. So they'll put fast-growing seeds in there. So you go, oh, it's green. And once you're all excited about that, the sneaky ninja slow-growing grass that's actually going to be longer is happening underneath. I was speaking to a guy who is a... He's into... Permaculture? That's like the that? wavy hair stuff from the 80s? Perma yeah, well, sort of, but it's... I think it's like people who are into growing stuff and the science of it to make it grow good at certain times with certain combinations and organics and all that kind of stuff. And he's got some of the best grass, by his own account, some of the best grass in his entire neighbourhood. And everyone's like, oh, you must put heaps of fertiliser and watering. He's he like, probably no, does just, nothing to it. No, he goes, I just use the right kind of grass for these situations. And guess what? There's actually two kinds of grass. And in winter, one comes through and grows and looks amazing. And then summer grass also looks oh, amazing. It's got two winter. Kinds. So it's dormant in different times of the year, which is also quite clever because I think part of the trap is trying to have good grass all the time. Martin, all of that is very interesting and I do care about it, but the exhaust is on. Dude, so it's, it actually. And no think, hanger required, man. Look at that. I think we, I think we might have um, done something, dude. I think we've done it. Look, what, this V-band is, is it, nice and is tight. It hitting on anything at the back? Not yet. Does it, it just seem solid, doesn't it? It seems really solid, actually. Oh, Can we start it and hear what it sounds absolutely like? Absolutely. Even man. under, it's not hitting anything, man. That's just the car wobbling around yeah. above me. All right, let's start it up, Martin, and see how incredible your prepare yourself for the move. Your tractor sounds. I'm pretty excited, actually. Something has been achieved. I'll go down to the back end, Martin. 
Got to get under there and have a look at what it looks like. It looks really nice, man. It, That's it, all stainless too. It does look good. Bottom. I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. Do you give it, Martin, the... Uh, where are you? I'm over here. Hello. Do you give it the, uh, the two thumbs up of approval? Oh, we should tell everyone that story. Or is it too funny? It's too funny. Remember the two thumb up of approval? Yeah, that we were requested to give something and we oh. said no. Oh, Martin, that was great. All right. I will go... tell that story, but let's hear the exhaust You're going to go first. around the back? And... Yeah, yeah. Dude, okay, it looks Martin. awesome. I'm, I'm really surprised at just how well that turned out. Very Evo, isn't it? But, the, but, but I have to say it fits. Like it's super Evo, how you going out the side. I like it. It but suits it, man. It suits this car. Wow, okay, let's do this. Okay, All right. So for the moo. Evo time. Remember how I asked to take oh, yeah. the battery strap uh, off? <laughs> negative strap. It'd be worse if the negative strap was on and it was doing that with a brand new battery. That's true. Because I just drained the whole thing again. Right it. Come All on. All right, Martin. Bring on the moo. Here we go. Sounds alright. I'm happy with that. Sounds good. Very happy with that. Um, it I'm sounds... just the door up. Ah, it sounds way better by the way. It just sounds nice and like muted. Still that sort of ugly yes. Evo sound, but a bit more muted. But do you know what you can't hear anymore, Martin? You can't hear air exploding out of a split gooch. That's exactly right, because there is no split gooch. Dude, this is coming together. That's I'm really excellent. happy with that exhaust. I'm going to show the people what it looks like. I'm going to get right Very under good. there. And of course, everybody, you can follow us Dude, on the stop Facebook. stop it. There's so much more to do. Okay. So there it is. We've got our... That's the intercooler pipe. There's our dump pipe and front pipe. And then the cat sitting under there all shiny. And of course, you can follow us Stop and get out of it. Uh, you can't follow us on the face balls just yet because we're not finished. <laughs> there you go. That is a nice stainless exhaust system, three inch into three and a half by our brand new cat. All stainless, all TIG welded to varying degrees of uh, expertise. What do you think, man? Are you, are you feeling the Evo yet? Uh, yeah, man. I really like them. <laughs> I do. I really like that. I don't know yeah. what else to say about it, no, really. That's right. I like it, and I'm excited for you. But I'm, I'm also I'm excited to just. I just I'm want also to drive scheming, it. Martin. Scheming. No scheming. You do these fingers when you're scheming. Are you? Do you basically spend the most of the time just thinking? Oh, I wonder how that's going to go against the Golf. Now it's got a. Isn't that what you're thinking exhaust. about the whole time? Yeah, a little bit. I'm. I'm very, very interested for science, and I think it's just going to be such a fun race far out. It's going to be fast. Yeah, it's going to be fast. That's right. They are deceivingly quick. Right, so we can choose. We can either put in a no flex sensor, or you can follow us on the Facebook. Or we can do some interior bits, and that's it, man. No, flex let's sensor. St let's stick with the engine stuff. All right, so flex sensor. This is like the fun stuff that you get to do later when all the dirty stuff's done. Yeah, I know. let's do the flex fuel sensor. Reward button. ourselves. All right. Martin, cool. I saw a message of someone saying, "Why do we always put these in our cars?" I'll tell you why, people. Because that means that you can run ethanol and pump fuel. And any combination of, if you have the tune in there. Yeah, it'll actually work out and go, <laughs> interpolation. It'll actually work out what you need of each. Uh, and some people go, why do, you, why do you install them in your car? Well, because we like to run ethanol uh, in, in some of our cars. And so when you're running ethanol and you want the flexibility of 98, that's why you run flex fuel. Is that a good enough answer for you all? Pretty much. Well, that's... You can run on E85, which is 85% ethanol, 15% petrol, or 100% petrol, which is 0% ethanol. And this just sniffs out the ethanol content and tells the ECU. And then if you've got a really good tuner, like yeah. tuning fork... And it'll tell it what to do yeah, based on a, what it's sniffing out. He'll put a map in there and say, oh, look, when I'm on full petrol, then turn the boost down and just go wastegate. And when I'm on E80, E85, turn it up because it can handle it. But the great thing is you don't have to do anything except change the fuel that you put in the tank. That's what's good about it. Where are you going to mount it, Martin? That's the question. A few options. One is on the actual like manifold, but I'm, I'm thinking up here somewhere. Yeah. So sort of I was in like, way. like over. Because the return line, as far as I know, is down here. So what we're going to do is grab the return line because you put it on the, after the fuel's come up under pressure, 
into yep. the rail and the fuel pressure regulators stopped it so it builds pressure. Yep. After it's relieved the pressure and going back down into the tank, that's where we're going to intercept it, go through our ethanol content sensor and then back into the factory line. And I've bought, yep. got some bits to make it work because this uses some GM, I believe they are, like funny sort of connectors that you need to adapt. So I've got a bunch of adapters which will allow us to do that, but the return line on these cars is very small. That's the return line in there. It's a really, really small hose, so we're just going to have to sort of mix and match and make it work. But uh, it should be pretty not, easy. Are you going to use like a factory thing, or are you going to nuts it, or what are you going to do? Yeah, I reckon up on, probably up on that bracket looks like a good spot to me. Up in here. Can we just good. loop the fuel, fuel lines around and, and up and out of the way? Wherever we can get it that's not too obtrusive. Cool. All right, shall we jam it in? Shall we kick the music and the voiceover for this bit, Martin? We've never done a disrespected nose music and voiceover bit. We've never done it. Should we do it? Just for this bit. Just for, just for installing this. Just kicked a proper OG Mighty Car Mods, the old music, voiceover, and put it in in like 30 seconds. Do Three, you want to do it? two, one. First, jack up your car. Next, disconnect your battery and then remove the return line. Be careful as some fuel may spill out. Next, grab your flex sensor and appropriate adapters. These right angle adapters allow us to use dash six fittings, which are common and you can use for various hose sizes. We're marking where we want our sensor to go in the engine bay, making sure it's not going to foul on any wires or moving parts. We'll then remove the factory bracket so we can work with it on the bench. I'm going to utilise this factory bracket that sits up on the firewall and holds a bunch of 80s looking stuff. Um, I've ground back a bit on there, I've made a little metal plate that sort of matches roughly the shape of the flex sensor so I can just weld on a little extension to there and then put my flex sensor on. It all bolts on nicely and sits up against the firewall, something like that. Back to full OG disrespected nose. Needs a bit of tightening up. And actually, you know what? I might even need a different fitting for that. But that's okay. That's all working. I need to now just make a bit of hose to go from here, from this outlet return, yep. and boom, into there, and then tighten everything up. And that is done. Ready to plug in once the Haltech's in, and there's, there'll be a cable that goes from the ECU inside the firewall into that plug. Bang, full flex. That's fuel. excellent, Martin. Of course, you can follow us on the... Dude. Not yet? No. Not yet. There's people that are not keep, ready. Keep watching. They're not ready. If you're keep not watching. ready, you should say that you're not ready. But then if someone writes ready, then well, we need to end it. Do you it, know how they know. say ready? They just click the button that closes the browser oh, button. Cross. Click the thing. What's happening next, Martin? What's happening next is I'm going to plug in the other bit of hose, which is sitting over here somewhere. Get some choppers. Chop some hose. And some hose choppers. Yep. That fitting's good to go, just needs a little clamp on it, so maybe we'll find a clamp for that and cramp it. Cramp it. Back to full disrespected nose, Oh, Martin. full disrespected nose, which means, see these long bits of like going, oh, there's tape in the way of getting this hose out. It all stays in, people. Yeah. It all stays in that except for fit. now when that I That didn't fit. Edit it. That didn't fit, but now it does. Or something. Something, something like that. But disrespected nose is good. This stuff takes freaking ages, usually. But flex fuel is exciting. Super gramps. I was just saying super gramps, I don't know why. Really? I drove that today. Such a fun car, man. I went and picked up all the bits for this car using super gramps, which seems sort of appropriate, wouldn't you say? That's excellent. Like, because Evos and Subarus and stuff can, can be friends. They can all be friends. They can all That's be friends. True. Yes. Look at that, Martin. Yeah, that's neat, man. Very, 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 very happy with that. Martin's been flexing. What? For any... um Flexing. For See? anyone who is doing this conversion, because I know it's quite common, um, there's, there's lots of ways to use ethanol in terms of what ECU you're running. Like with an aftermarket one, it's easy. In this case, the whole ECU has just been told, well, this ECU doesn't actually care what fuel's in it. It just knows what mixtures it needs to run. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have flex, whereas when the Haltech goes in, it's gonna know what kind of fuel it's got in it and the map will change. 
You can also, I'm fairly sure with these cars, remap the stock ECU the same way and just say, no, just add bulk fuel and timing and boost and everything to make use of the 85. Flex, I don't know if you can run it. Um, but what you can do is you can put in a gauge that will tell you the quality of the flex fuel. Or okay. The composition, I should say, of, of the um, fuel that you put in the tank, which is really handy to know. We can see that straight off a laptop or onto a gauge, which makes things a lot easier. Um, I was going to recycle this original line, but actually looking at it, if you look really closely, it's kind of cracked. See how it's a bit, yeah. a bit grot? So I might actually use some more of this um, 400 series and just go again. that I've got and just replace it. It's a bit of a pain because I've got to go bury my hand down there, but I think it will be worthwhile. Yep. So let's change it. Good one. The hose I want is in there, but it's like completely buried under an aftermarket front mount pipe, of course, so. There you go, Martin. Thank you, There's sir. Some hose. But I reckon that will work nicely. It's looking good, Martin. That's it's awesome. looking excellent. Yeah, man. Stoked. Stoked. I'll be right back, Martin. One second. Fellas. Fellas. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. How you doing? Good, bro. We're just fixing Marty's Evo. Standard. That's broken again. How are you, man? Good, good to see you again. All right, Martin, what's next, mate? Is that guy wearing a Volkswagen shirt? What are we doing over here, Mutt? Oh my god. Um, we are... Don't be scared of the vag, Mutt, and you've got to embrace it. We're getting close, man. We are getting close. Things are happening. I mean, it's been a really short episode too, so that, that obviously helps. It has been. We're going to reward my ourselves. My guess so far, Martin, is that it's on 41 minutes. I'm going to guess 48 minutes. Oh, that's a good guess. But I'm editing it, so maybe yes, I've got true. a better idea. Uh, um, that's probably long enough. So anyway, guys, of course, you can dude, follow us no. on the baseballs. You said that we have to reward ourselves with doing this nice, fun inside stuff once we've done all, all right, the crazy it, outside Martin. stuff. Let's so all it. we're going to do is get in there, pull some of the interior apart, and fix and replace some of these bushes and mounts that hold in the gear shifter Martin, thing. Martin, can I cut you so off right there? Of course you can. I want to tell you something that everyone's scared to tell you. Can you get a light? Put a battery in that light and come with me. I'm just going to tell you what needs to be told. Oh, you're going to the inside. People can't smell the inside, don't worry. Mum, that's festy, bro. <laughs> that's good. Like, look at that. I know. I, don't, I think a few people have seen that now and they're like, I don't want to tell Marty, but that is, like... Dude, we've had Honda Civics that aren't as dirty as that. It was coming and off. And that's saying something. It was, was coming off in my hand as I drove home. So was No, but how about the steering wheel? Um, <laughs> but I've, I've actually, as soon as I got home, I started jumping online to see if I could find, like, if anyone makes a new old replacement or, or I could get a second hand one. But these things are worth big, big dollars. And you just, yeah. and the ones you do find that are, that are new, or that are like, you know, replacements are not much better, man. Look at it. It's just so flaky. You could go like just full JDM, but I you've think actually it's got be... some like airbag and stuff in yeah. there, Martin. No, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of the airbag. And the wheel's a good size. It's actually a good wheel. I think um, a retrim or some kind of wrap or, I don't know, we'll, we'll work something we'll out. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Anyway, but Martin, for now, just, we're gonna... I, I'm glad that you knew about that because that's gross. We're going to get in there and just pull some of this shifter material apart, fix all that up, drop it down. Maybe take it for a drive. We go for a drive. Yeah. Maybe this video could finish with us going for a drive, Martin. That sounds good. We could. I'm going to pull that Or up. if you want, we could just do this quite quickly. And thanks for watching, everybody. Dude, don't. Uh, you can follow Stop what? it. No, it's not they time. Can. No, because with it, you know what? There's a fun, there's a, there's a new project to work on. They'll know. When it's We've time. We've just had some visitors. When it's time, so, you'll know So, Martin, it's maybe, we, should we just call it? No. Now? Absolutely not. Because. Don't be like that. You know there's an amazing project happening next, people. You know they're excited, Except Martin. Except this one's not There's over, man. For it. People have come along. They've invested so much of their time. Those poor people. Sorry. Man. They've invested so much time, and they want to see. They want to see this resolve, man. We we got to pick through all the stuff that we had lined up on the desk. We got to pick through it. We're gonna get it done. All right. We're gonna get it done. Let's just let's do it, Martin. All right. Got to work out how to pull this thing apart. It's gonna be screwdrivers, isn't it? It's gonna be, and there might be some trim removal tools required. Probably. Mark. Wish I could. Wish I could find those. They're in the second drawer down, mate. No, they were. I don't know where they went. Someone took oh. them. Oh, gone. Somebody took them, man. Your trim removal tools are gone. I know. I probably put them in your toolbox. Um, my toolbox is full of tape <laughs> and mini stuff, of course. Oh. Martin. Yeah. I can't find them, bro. Me neither. We well, might not need them. Ah! Oh. Did you find them? I found one. Well, that's good. It's a start. 
Not in there, not in there. Not in there. He's gone in there. They've actually gone, Martin. They've legit gone, man. It's disappointing. That sucks. It's all right, we'll get by. I have one though. I will use it. We will get by. If given the opportunity to do so. Also, Martin, I'm also going to say what everyone's been thinking. Dark in here, isn't it? Your tint's brown. No, it's good. No. What do you mean, no? No. It's good, man. Yeah, no. The tint's awesome. No. But it's brown, Martin. There's... I know. I don't know if that's like a look or it's faded. Look at it. I know. I don't like it, Martin. Don't you? I mean, I'm sure. that's why like... you should do whatever you want. Oh, good. Because when people like or don't like something, it shouldn't affect what you do about it. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine if we actually listened to the comments, Martin. We'd be in a world of trouble. That said... How do you get this off? Just keep spinning it until no. it comes off. But hold the bottom bit too. No, it doesn't spin off because it's a thingy. Just keep going, man. It's no, man, it's not, it's not going. Keep going. Is it going? Yeah, it's getting close. Someone with an Evo is going to be like, that's not how you do it. That's not how you remove it. See, it's not going anywhere, man. It's just spinning, making us look like doofuses. Isn't it? This is the most waste of internet I've ever seen. I know, man. Sorry. I'm taking out the center console bit first because more often than not, there's screws hiding. So this should allow us to remove this whole thing. Should. Doesn't mean we actually can. Or does this come off first? That's the mystery. It feels like it's very much bolted on. Look at it. This just doesn't want to go anywhere. It is, uh... Why? Oh, hello. There you go. The answer revealed itself. And the rest will be hiding underneath. Get any freebies under there, Martin? Nope. Oh, <laughs> yep. A Macca's thing. Like one of those Macca's Monopoly stupid promotion things. All right. There you go. That's that out of the Excellent. way. And sure enough, it's bolted down. Look at that. There you go, Martin. Ugh. Look at that. It's... Undo him. Ramsey bolt on. Evo is coming. Undo him. Now, this shifter, apparently, is the same as Too Sexy's shifter. Can exactly. you believe it? They didn't change it over that time. Well, Too Sexy and this car are only made five years apart, believe it or not. Wow. So, sort of actually not that surprising. You like this one better than Too Sexy? Yeah. Okay. It's just capable of way more. You can actually use the power. Too Sexy's amazing, but you can't use the power. Yep. And break in the way, everything in the way. Won't let me undo the gear knob. There's probably some secret to that as well. Some secret Evo handshake. Do you reckon people who own like certain cars have certain like, oh, of secret course they handshakes do, man. and There's stuff? certain styles and certain it's gotta be, hey. vaping, flat brimmy things that people in a scene do to try vaping. and be part of the tribe. Gotta be part of the All tribe. All be individuals together. <laughs> the question will be, does this car already have some kind of uh, mods done to the shifter? It's Entirely likely buying something that isn't no, take that far out. from stock. Thank you, sir. Yeah, got it. So, what's going on in here? Rubber bushings, rubber bushings. Oh, it actually looks a little bit different from, um, it does look a bit different from Two Sexies one, as anyone who watched that video will notice. But some bits are also very much the same. So, the idea is you can replace these rubber bushings, which stops the whole thing flexing. Oh, yeah. Because that whole thing moves. I mean, look, it's how much difference that makes to your driving experience, I, I don't know. But what we definitely want to do is somehow work out how to get this gear knob off, because it's a bit feral. i got a really good idea, Martin. What's that? Let's just check the comments. That's a good idea. Are you ready? All right, let's Three, read the comments. Two, Three, two, one, one, go. So we just had a look at the comments in this very video that you're watching right now. Bad idea. And it says, turn it to the driver's side. So we did, and that made it tighter. Um, but actually, it, it feels like it was a bit threaded or something, so we just put some pressure upwards, then spun it. Yeah, the, the thread's then... just falling out of it. Look, oh, is it? Plastic, it's plastic and it's just come out, so I think that one's just a bit munched. But we're replacing that, Martin. We are. It's on the desk, man. It's on the, on the desk. Do you the honours. called it a dench? I don't know what I called it. That was half desk, half bench. I don't know. I don't know what I called it. We'll go check right. it out on the Judy, Martin. The Judy Dench. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that... Lady does a thing with a thing. Oh, that's good, Martin. Oh, you know what's really interesting about this? What's that? The original one is so worn off that it doesn't even have the gear pattern on it anymore. 
oh. you can see where it used to, which is actually uh, in New South Wales, uh, that's illegal. Yes, that's illegal. I think defectable. that's defectable. That is illegal. That one is okay. But look at that. See, you can see where it kind of used to be, and now it ain't. Oh, it looks good, man. Six speed. So these, these should replace our bushings at the bottom of the shifter. Yeah. So let's see if they fit. I mean, some of this stuff I got just doesn't seem to fit. Just for shifting giggles. For shifting giggles. It just Some of it just doesn't seem to fit. Like, that's the wrong part. So we won't use that, but we will use that. We'll use that, and we'll try and attempt to put these in if they fit. And then, Martin... We're going for a drive? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Then you'll be able to follow us on no. the baseballs. Oh, almost. No. So close. Not even close, man. Poor people. We're not still close. Watching. Everyone knows it. They can see the countdown. They know exactly how long's left to go. Mm, that's true. Oh, we need a 12 mil. All right, I'll get it for you, man. Thanks, man. Do you want it on a doodle? Yeah, on a. On, put on your favourite tool thing. Yeah. Instant win, free day out. What? What's a free instant instant win, free day out? Redeemed by the second of November 2016. I don't know, mate. Isn't that, isn't that good? Isn't a free day out a good thing to win? Well, it depends what is happening on that free day out. Yeah, mate. Let's see if these are going to fit. I'm just going to take one out because I'm fairly sure... Well, I'm not sure, but I have this sneaking suspicion that this stuff's just not going to fit. Really? I don't know. Just some of the bits I got. They're apparently for Evo 9, but maybe there's, like, different Evo 9s. Like, there can't be different Evo 9s. Evo 9's an Evo 9. So that's... Yeah, so they're rubber, so the factory ones are rubber, and the idea is that you just swap them out for these, they're made called Delrin, so they're like a plastic. A little bit of flex to them, but not as much as the factory ones, so a bit more vibration and harshness through there, but also when you're smashing gears, the whole thing's not moving as much oh, as it is now. It's a bit more precise. More precise, but sometimes my theory is that some of this engineering is just, well, it's cheap and easy to make the part. Let's just say it's better, mm. and potentially the guys at Mitsubishi, who probably worked out the exact rubber composition for that. Over many years. Yeah, over many years. That's it. It's, it's also pretty easy to change. So we can just whip it off and throw them in. And if it sucks, we can always put the rubber ones back in. That's, you can always unmodify true, your car, as we proved with Too Sexy. That's true. All right, Martin. While you put them in, yep. I'm going to speak with Cheryl quickly. Hi, Cheryl. She Excuse called me twice one second. Today, I know, it's getting crazy. So that's the idea, is that that goes in like that, and then that original bolt goes back through it. Martin, that's a good little mod thing, yeah. isn't it? That anyone can do that's easy, that's kind of cool. Tightens it up a little bit, so I'll pull the well other done. three out, and when next time you see it, it'll be finished. Well done, Martin. That looks great. Yeah. It's a nice little... You should be very proud of yourself, mate. Nice little easy mod. Uh, of course, you no. guys can... <sighs> no, and you know it, dude. The car is still in pieces. We are, we are not we're finishing until this car is running again on the floor having a mad time. But Martin, we've got another project to move on to. I know to. we've have got I another project, but we have, that's the whole thing. We have to finish this project first. Do or at we? least get it to the stage where I can freaking drive it again, because I haven't oh, driven mate. it in ages and I miss it. We should do I want to drive Martin. my freaking Evo. I know, Martin. But Everyone with an Evo wants to drive the Evo. That's just the way it is. You know that there's another project about to start. Yeah, but Martin. I don't know what it is, because you keep changing it. You do know what it is. It. You're just pretending Dude, for Dude, that's awesome. That's like really solid now. Is it? Yeah, that's great. At least one part of this car doesn't look like it's going to fall apart. What are you talking about? Mitsubishi quality. All right, let's change this. We can right, off that's going to magically go on. And of course, it's not magically thank you guys going, for watching dude, the show. You can follow us on the Faceballs. On. What? Stop it. They no, can. that's not happening. They can happening. follow us on the Faceballs.com. We can do this. Hey, we can do what? this on the bench. This will be awesome. We can actually see what we're doing. Check it out. That's a good idea, Martin. Well, now I'm excited again. You're the biggest one I've ever seen. And I shut the gate and it just went me, dude. Really? It just absolutely went me. And it was really like middle of summer. It was hot, like 40 yeah. degrees. Grass was really dry like full bushfire season, and it was angry, and it was hot, and it was cranky, and it just went me. Man, I've um, I've got one as well at the moment. Really? And you know how they make huge mounds of um, dirt everywhere? Yeah, like do. massive ones. Um, and it's, um, I don't know if it's like actual bush turkey season, yeah. but they are rampant, and they're angry. They must be uh, like getting mating. You know when people want to oh, mate, it, and they get all angry? It, like it had a go at you as well. Yeah, because they, they're super like territorial. That's looking good, man. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Um, Easy fit. I wonder what kind of like weird creatures people have got in their backyards. Oh, all sorts, man. Like people talk about having, you know, chipmunks and squirrels and all sorts of stuff. Chipmunks. I know that we I've just... heard about them on movies, but I've never seen one before mm -hmm. in real life. Oh, I've seen, I've seen one in um, where did I see one like in Canada or something. Is or a chipmunk was... the same as a squirrel? No. Are they different? You can't say no. that, man. Apparently, you can't say that. 
That's is like, a chipmunk different to a squirrel? That's like saying a bandicoot is the same as a wallaby. What? I know, exactly. Who would say that though? Lots of people say that. No. They go, yeah, your bandicoot's the same as your wallaby. Really? Yeah. I've never heard that before. It's interesting. Shmoo, not smoo. Shmoo. I met someone once who didn't know that the word lobster had a B in it. They thought it was lobster. Lobster? Yeah. Martin, that looks good. That's a nice little tidy up though. Oh, oh my God. Let's just, can we just please just, that is what so is that? grot. I don't know, but it needs to go. Is that just human slime? I think it's just slime, man. That's it's pretty just, slimy, man. I can't, can't handle it. Martin, no, no one's I... with us anymore, so we can sing that song. I think we're alone now. What do you there mean? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Dude, we gotta work out what we're gonna call this. I think I'm alone We gotta now. work out what we're gonna call this. This video? Yeah. We'll just call it Disrespected it is Evo a disrespect 2? No. No? No, that's no, too Disrespected obvious. Evo The Sequel. No, I reckon it's gotta be oh, like... heaps better. <sighs> Look at that, Martin. It's Look gotta be slime. full like Star Wars-esque, and I reckon it should be like... What? Attack of the... The Chewbuckers. No, Jar Jar Balls. What's his name? Is that his name? Jar Jar Balls? Anything called Jar Jar will get destroyed on the yeah. internet. <laughs> Maybe it should be Disrespected Evo. Han oh. Solo. That's when it works. Han yeah, Solo. Han Solo when okay. it works. Yes. Um, no, I think it should be like Return of the Disrespected Evo. Excellent. Or the Disrespected Evo Strikes Back, which should yes. it be. No, it's, it is. It's the return of, isn't it? No, it strikes back. Is it? This video, Martin, I'm going to get on screen. Here we are. Ma this video shall be called Disres The Disrespected Evo Strikes Back. Three. <laughs> Perfect. It's done. Okay, awesome. <laughs> And, and anybody that didn't get to this point, why is it three? Where's number two? But the OGs that got to this point, they know. Be, they, they know. They know why. That's awesome. Oh, that's looking good, man. So no, there it is, not. everybody. Stop it. It's not in the car yet. We had this chat. All right, let's look, put it in the car, Martin. Look, take your old knob. Yeah. Oh, you don't need that then. Um, and we'll get this and put this in the car, All shall right, we? Martin, we've got to go for a drive. You know where we're going. Where are we going? You know what's... Dude, stop it. But we already... We you're, already... A, you're attention seeking. You're the naughty kid in class who pretends he didn't do his homework even though you did it quite well. Remember when we took our own drill to get McFlurries? Yes. Do you want a McFlurry, mate? Yeah. Can I have two M&M McFlurries, please? Can you still flurry it like you used to? Like, oh, by hand. Oh, you can't do it with a machine? No. No. Oh, what the... <laughs> that was mad. I always wanted to do that. I'm so glad we actually finally did. Okay, Martin, let's put this in. We're cutting to a time lapse. No, this needs to be like the spaceship. No, no, no it's, it's the spaceship at the start of the thing. Oh, remember, I did the spaceship the yeah, other dude. day. Because okay, this is the start go. of here we go. disrespected This Evo. is the end of The Last Hope or whatever that Star Wars movie's called. So do. So do. That was pretty good, man. And. Point it at me and I'll do the Stormtrooper impersonation from the very first movie. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the Star Wars people know what I'm talking about. They okay, do. man, put it in. I'm trying. Oh, there's a, oh, no, that's not where the thing goes. There's a plug. There's a plug that needs to be plugged. Plug it in, Martin. It is done. Achievement unlocked. Now, where does this go? Does this, am I doing this right? Oh, wow. That was loud. No, that's not where that goes. That goes like that. It goes like that. Oh, yes. Yes. It's looking good. Excellent, Martin. Not quite. That's great. Not quite done. Here it goes. Awesome. Uh, no. Thank you for no, anybody no, no, who no, stayed no. with us. No, what? no, no. We already discussed this literally two minutes ago. We need to go for a drive. You were yeah, here for that. that's the next video. No, it's not, of man. Of course, everybody, it's thank... It's not. Everybody that's been watching all this time, thank you very much. And um, you can, of course... Dude, fo just stop. Because you know... You can <laughs> Stop it, man. It's, now know, it's all man. good. It's of not. course, everybody, you can follow us on But the... you can't because we haven't driven it yet. Everybody wants to see it drive. Thank just you, check, Dude, just check the comments. They're all saying there, they're Hold saying, on. we want to see it drive. I am going to get my phone right now, Martin. It doesn't even have a... a um... I'm going to get my phone and I'm going to check the comments of this video. They do want to see it drive, they Martin. They do. Look at this. Look how good this is going to look. Hashtag drive the Evo. Look at this. 
Oh, Martin, that's great. They're so nice and new. That's literally the same as if you just bought a brand new Evo 9. It would have felt like that, which is why I stand by the fact that gear knobs and steering wheels and things that you interface with, we spoke about this, didn't we? Yes. There's such a win in terms of how it feels just to jump in your second-hand car. Which is interesting because, yes, and I know it's not so a cool good. thing, but I mean, I don't want to be a killjoy, but the Golf interior is so much nicer. And as your point is, that it's a nice place to be. I know that you'd like but, me to, yeah, to disagree with you, things. but I can't disagree with you. I don't want you, on you that to. One. Martin, that's excellent. That's unreal. Thank you no. for watching. And you know We'll do no. it as another video, man. We're not, man. We do it as another video. We're not. They want to see it now. We, dude, we've got to move on to this next project. They want to see we it got now. Stuff man. To pick it up. We have to drive it. We can't do all this and not drive the car, Can dude. you? Okay, it's not how a, about this for a deal? We'll a keep park, going. Mate. Can you drive me to the hills after? I can. Why would I drive you up there, though? Well, Martin. All right, we're going to keep going because Martin's going to give me a ride. So now I've got a vested interest in this car working. for this mad Evo to get dropped down. Back on the deck and looking awesome. Finally, Martin, I am actually excited that we can finally take it for the ride. All of that work, there it is, ready um, to go. Down, working. We might have I'd to- rock, paper, scissors you who gets to drive, we might but have I'm to assuming you're going to drive. Postpone our our drive. What's that? It's leaking oil. Um, I noticed on the return, the oil return, when we were taking it apart, that one of the gaskets had a bit of elastic on it that probably shouldn't have been there. Oh, no. And now I know why it was there, because the gasket was blown out and it was sealing oil. So um, I'm going to have to get a new return gasket before we can drive it, because that's too much oil to be leaking to drive it around on. So we're not driving it this video? We're well, supposed to be. That was the plan, but that's no, that's that's not cool. I don't want to be like leaking that up the up the motorway. It's too much oil. Man, that's devastating, mate. A little bit. Legit, no, that sucks. A little bit. All jokes aside, that's crap. I know. I was so keen. It sounds good. It feels good. I just can't try and some more. That sucks. Well, I guess what I will take this opportunity then to do is like tell everybody about our next project now that we've got a couple of minutes. So we've been working on... That's well, it. I've been Do like, follow us on the Facebooks. <laughs>not giving up people just kidding not the end this disrespected nose will continue to sniff around <laughs> until the car is working right. um, we contacted a bunch of Mitsubishi service centers um, here's an interesting fact for you Martin because I rang a few first fact it's a nine dollar part yeah. stopping the car from working that's right second fact in Sydney there are nine of these oil pan gaskets available in Melbourne 45 what why does it mean people in Melbourne need them more or don't need them as much? Mitsubishi's not even based in Melbourne, so it's not like it's even, well, that's where head office is. They're I in know. Adelaide. It's a mystery, Martin. But anyway, we're not in Melbourne. We're in Sydney. So we have found a shop out in uh, Seven Hills, which is part of the Hills area near Castle Hill, Cecil Hills, and Dural Hills. It's called the Hills District. Uh, it is. <laughs> Surprise. Um, and, um... And they've got one. So we're gonna go buy it. Yep. We've got our nine dollars of jangly change. We're gonna buy our gasket. We're gonna put it in the car and then it's gonna work. Yep, I hope so. I really hope so. Well, it's gonna work, but it's also got no O2 sensors in it. And it's really only good enough to drive to Haltech and put a Haltech in it, which yep. is booked in for a few weeks time. So yep. That's in, in like three weeks time, yep. that gets done. Yep. But in the meantime, <laughs> You know it. Because uh, we'd otherwise be driving it on on a tune.
just chopped hard. We just got chopped so hard, Martin. No, we did. I mean, we're only going 40 kilometres an hour, but so still. So driving it, the problem is I'm also driving it on a tune that is locked down to the setup that the car used to have. So now that we've changed the exhaust, changed manifold, changed a bunch of stuff, the tune is not right. And that computer won't learn everything it needs to learn. I mean, most computers won't really learn that, that amount of change. So it actually needs to be retuned anyway. So seeing as we're gonna retune it, we're gonna throw a Haltech in it, put some engine protection stuff on it so it don't blow it up. And that'll be that. And then we know exactly what's going on, don't we, Martin? Exactly right, my friend. Um, so is that now the end? I think the last shot will be, we'll just get a shot of the gasket in our hand and yep. you'll be able to use your imaginations and know that that means it's going in the car. Then in a couple of weeks time, um, you'll see the Evo again on the dyno. Be back, I'm so keen. But before then, we'll be kicking off our new project, which I'm pretty excited about. Are you excited, Martin? I am. Excellent. That's it, everybody. And now you can actually, can I do it? You can do it. You find that you have my permission. Get it done. Of course, you can follow us on the face balls. That's faceballs.com forward slash balls and the YouTubes as well, which is on the balls on the ball sack. There it is, Martin. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thanks for anybody that's still here. This has um, been some this random was, Evo stuff. This, this, was, this was a, a big video, man. It, it, it was meant to be disrespected nose. Next thing you know, there was a little, a little bit of dancing going on. There was a bit of editing. There was a bit of a jangling of banjo. It was original Mighty Carmel season one music. I know from all that time back. Blue Horizon, that bit of music's called. Yeah, awesome. Anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching. If you stuck with us all this time, I want you to write the word ball bag in the comments. <laughs> and when we look through and we see the word ball bag, we know that you're OG legit. Thanks for staying with us. See you later and goodbye. There it is, everybody. That is the part. We've got it done um, down here at our uh, Mitsubishi Land, <laughs> also Meek known as uh, Meek Automotive. They're, they're, Meek, they're the guys that built Twisted. Yes, they oh, the built. Engine. Well, they built the Twisted engine, yeah, which is pretty cool. crazy. Um, so there it is, Martin. That's now it's actually the end. We keep saying it's the end, but now that's actually the end. Yeah, it really is. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.